using the power of the breath to find your center. Noticing where the breath is situated. And just allow every inhalation to relax you and allow that breath to sink deeper into the belly, all the way into the pelvic area. And just imagine that you are standing in a beautiful place in nature. And we are going to connect with the seven directions. To the winds of the south, great serpent, please enter our circle of healing and transformation. Come and wrap your golden coils of healing light around us. Teach us to let go what is no longer true. And just as you shed your skin, may we shed our past and old layers that we have outgrown. Show us how we can connect our heartbeat to the heartbeat of Mother Earth. Allow us to release and renew as you do over and over again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Aho. To the winds of the west, Otorongo, Mother Sister Jaguar, please walk around our circle of healing and transformation so that we feel safe to enter the tender place of truth inside of ourselves. Empower us to navigate through the dark into the other dimensions, into the light and into the great mystery of our eternal life as infinite beings of light. Mother Sister Jaguar, teach us how to move through our own shadow, our own darkness. Help us to trust that we are supported and please guide us one step at a time out of our comfort zone and into deep surrender, into the astonishing light of who we truly are. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Aho. To the winds of the north, sweet, sweet hummingbird, please fly into our circle of healing and transformation and allow us to feel your ancient heartbeat. You who memorizes thousands of flowers but only goes to the ones that truly nourish you. Please teach us about discernment and illuminate the path of where our soul's nectar is, so that we may not be distracted by false images or false promises. Sweet, sweet hummingbird, you brave little bird, you who fly nonstop for 500 miles to reach your destination, thank you for teaching us that we can travel far and wide, even if we think our wings are too small. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Aho. To the winds of the east, great eagle, great condor, please arrive into our circle of healing and transformation and teach us that we can rise above the storms of our daily life. Thank you for lifting us to our highest potential where we can see things from a higher perspective. Teach us how to fly wing to wing with great spirit, moving from probability into possibility, from imagination into manifestation. Great ego, help us awaken from the illusion of separation so that we can remember the interconnection with all of life. Thank you for teaching us how to dream bigger dreams and to live a life of collaboration and co-creation with great spirit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Aho! Sweet, sweet, Pachamama, Mother Earth, Santa Tierra. Thank you for this body. Thank you for this life. Thank you for my hands, my heart. Thank you for always loving us and nourishing us in every moment. Thank you for being so abundant and generous. Thank you for offering us everything that we can imagine. Thank you for teaching us to be more like you. Thank you for infusing and surrounding us with the unconditional love that you are. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Aho. Father, Son, Grandmother, Moon, our star brothers and sisters, please 
shower your light down onto us, Father, Son, just like there are some days where we do not see you, we never doubt your existence, and may we have the same faith in our own light. Grand Mother Moon, just like we honor your cycles, may we trust our own journey of ebb and flow. And to our star brothers and star sisters, our galactic family, thank you for showing us the shadow of polarity and opening up our hearts to unity consciousness. Help us to remember the true meaning of community and reflecting another's light and our light into each person that we meet. Please illuminate the shadow aspects in our being that are ready to be awakened and allow us to move into the love and light of the one infinite creator. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Aho. Turn into the center of your being. Place one hand on your heart and one hand on your womb space. And call upon the teacher in your sacred heart. Please awaken. Please be the source from which I created every thought, word, and action. May the love that has led me here to this moment lead me through whatever challenges and lessons I encounter on this journey of life. My great inner teacher of the sacred heart please make me an instrument of your peace where there is hatred let me bring love where there is pain let me bring healing where there is doubt and despair let me bring hope and where there is darkness let me bring light wherever there is sadness let me bring joy as within, so without, and so it is, and so it is, and so it is. Thank you. Aho. I take a deep, slow breath in, feeling that connection with the seven directions. feeling that beautiful column of light connecting you with the earth connecting you with the great central sun one last time fortifying magnifying your four circles circle of love circle of light circle of protection circle of reflection circle of love circle of light Circle of protection, circle of reflection. And just tune into all the power animals that you called in the serpent, the jaguar, hummingbird, eagle. And just open up to allowing other power animals to come in as well and feel your connection to the earth your connection to the great central sun focusing on that beautiful column of light and imagine that column of light reaching from the heart of mother earth that source of unconditional love that crystal energy all the way up to the great central sun just bask in that energy on 
the surface of the earth. Feeling into your question, anything that you would like to have a little bit more information about, a deeper understanding, feeling that connection with your heart, using the power of the breath, every breath is a healing movement, opening up, expanding the heart, and from this location we are going to call in the healed ancestors and ask them to go into one of the crystal healing rooms to build a sacred fire just imagine that the healed ancestors are coming together in one of the beautiful crystal healing rooms to build a fire in your honor and just hand it over to them you can let go of any thoughts about it just allow them to work their magic and just focus back onto the breath and your connection between the great central sun and the earth and this is a good time to call in your team of guides and guardians ask them to expand the column of light around you and escort you in this energetic elevator to go through all the layers of the earth until you reach the center of the crystal temple and take a deep breath in and imagine yourself to be in the center of the crystal temple right now Ask your body to open up. Ask your body to align with this beautiful frequency of crystal energy that is all around you. Tapping into the crystal energy that is coming in through the soles of the feet, moving all the way up through the legs, into the pelvic area, into the stomach, into the chest and imagine touching the crystal walls feeling that energy move through your hands into your arms into your shoulders just feel how that energy is coming through the feet and through the hands moving all the way up into the neck and the throat into your face into your brain and into your field. With every breath you are recharging, pulling in that crystal energy deep into every cell of your body. Going into the deepest cell level, every atom and molecule and the spaces around every cell, every atom, every molecule are being infused and surrounded by this beautiful crystal healing light. And notice how the frequency in your body is rising, allowing it to illuminate any parts of you that still need some healing or extra attention. And continue to use the breath to find your center, to find this new balance with this new frequency inside of the crystal temple. And use your energetic senses to pick up on the energy of the healed ancestors that are preparing this crystal healing room for your arrival. Maybe you can hear them Maybe you can feel them. Just notice what you are picking up. Imagine that they are building this beautiful sacred fire. 
drumming and singing around the fire. Building up the energy inside of that crystal healing room to the highest frequency for your deepest well-being. And ask your team of guides and guardians to escort you down the crystal staircase. Remember every step you take is a symbol of going deeper into the healing, deeper into the discovery, deeper into who you really are, deeper into the core of your being. And use that imagery of the crystal staircase to go as deep as you can, opening yourself up to new layers, new discoveries. And follow the sound of the drum. Follow the sound of the singing voices of the healed ancestors that are calling you into this beautiful shamanic healing space. Ask your team of guides and guardians to escort you into this powerful healing space right now. And imagine the ancestors forming a beautiful circle around the fire. Asking you to join them in this celebration of who you are, in this celebration of this new discovery that you are about to step into. And look around you in this powerful shamanic healing space. Imagine that you can connect to all the elements. This is a little preview of the lower world. And as you stand around the fire, your ancestors are asking you if there is anything that you are ready to release, anything that you wish to throw into the sacred fire for healing and transformation. Just imagine using the breath to pull up any energy, any emotions, any old patterns, any distracting thoughts, anything that is distracting you from following your guidance. Just imagine that you can throw it into the fire right now. in the violet flame energy to merge, align, and connect with the sacred fire in the center, transforming the fire into this powerful energy of transmutation. ancestors, the healed ancestors, and all the tribal guardians to continue the drumming, to continue being the guardians of this violet flame fire that is burning for you. And take a few moments to tune into the question. Before you move into the next level of the shamanic journey, open your heart and give yourself space and opportunity for another question to arise. Ask the core of your being if the question that you had prepared is still the right question for you or if there is another question 
that needs to be asked first. And just use the power of your breath to relax into receiving that information. And one last time, scanning your mind, scanning your body, scanning your energy field. If there is anything that you wish to let go of before you go into the lower world, just imagine letting it drop down to the floor and imagine your team of guides and guardians helping you to place it in the fire of transmutation. And connect from heart to heart with all of the healed ancestors. Open yourself up to receive their unconditional love and their excitement for this next level on your journey. Ask if they have any messages, if there is anything you need to know before you go into the next level of the shamanic journey. goodbye for now to the healed ancestors and one of your guides and guardians wants to show you the portal into the lower world I like to imagine this as a magical tree that allows me to climb down the roots into a tunnel Just imagine that there is a gateway, a passageway, a portal opening up for you to move through it. Moving through a tunnel that leads to the lower world. And just follow the light. Follow the light at the end of the tunnel. find that there is a gatekeeper, the guardian of the lower world. And use all of your senses to observe and notice this gatekeeper and this guardian. and communicate your desire to meet your spirit animal or your spirit guide and tell this gatekeeper that you are coming to visit with a very clear intention with a very specific question and imagine the gatekeeper opening up the gate and imagine stepping into the lower world where you can see the sky of this magical world beyond the veil and use all of your senses feel this nurturing 
and earthy vibe. Tune into the energy of the lower world. Connecting to all the elements, air, water, fire and earth. Connecting with all the healers of the plant kingdom, the animal kingdom, the mineral kingdom. Connecting with all the beings of love, light and wisdom that align with the highest frequency of love, compassion and wisdom. And that are here in your unique lower world for your highest good and deepest well-being. And just imagine moving forward, allowing your heart to guide you, fortifying your intention to meet your spirit animal, to meet your spirit guide. imagine walking around until you find a place where you can connect where an animal or a being is connecting with you a place where you can relax and just rest so even if you are not immediately seeing an animal or a spirit being, you can just find a spot where you feel really relaxed and at ease and just connect with the earth and all the elements and allow whatever being wants to connect with you to spontaneously come into your reality. all of your senses. Feel the purity of the air that you are breathing in. Feel the warmth of the sun on your skin. Feel the wind touching your hair. Feel the power of the earth rejuvenating you, allowing you to relax deeper and deeper, opening up your heart. And remember when you are meeting an animal or spirit being, to always start with the question, are you my spirit guide? Follow the sound of the drum to go deeper and deeper and deeper into opening yourself up to the magical encounters and experiences.
slowly coming back following the drum. And imagine saying goodbye to all the elements, all the beings. Thanking all of the guides and guardians, all the spirit guides, all the spirit animals, all the healers of the plant kingdom, the animal kingdom, the mineral kingdom. Thanking all the beings of love, light and wisdom. Thanking the lower world for your experience. Imagine making your way back to the gatekeeper, connecting from heart to heart, thanking him, her, for this beautiful opportunity. Imagine the gate opening back up into the tunnel one last time bowing in gratitude for your experience imagining getting an invitation to come back whenever you want to return as you make your way back through the tunnel going back to the portal that leads into the crystal healing room and ask your guides and guardians to help you to fully come back into the crystal healing room with the sacred fire. And just imagine the healed ancestors and all your guides and guardians are celebrating your return from the lower world, inviting you once more to stand in the circle And to share your experience, telepathically communicating all of your adventures and encounters in the lower world. And perhaps there is something that you wish to place into the sacred fire for healing and transformation, for total restore, repair, and transmutation. Perhaps you yourself, your entire being, wishes to stand in the center of this crystal violet flame energy. And just imagine placing a body part, a hand or a foot, just to experience what it is like and feel the warmth and the coolness all at once feel this beautiful transformational energy and when you feel ready you can step into the center of the violet flame energy asking this magical intelligent energy to burn away in the most gentle and loving way anything that is no longer in alignment with your highest good and deepest well-being Imagine the healed ancestors singing and dancing and drumming around the circle, honoring you, celebrating you for doing this deep inner work. Imagine every cell in your body being rejuvenated, lifted to a higher frequency. Feel that deep connection with the earth allowing that sacred fire to burn away anything that is no longer serving you. Imagine the sacred fire making space for new experiences, new energies, new emotions, a new way of living life.
and just stay in the sacred fire for one more minute really opening up asking the body to open up and to release anything that is blocking you allowing any old patterns old thoughts that bind you to lack and limitation to just exit the body offering them to the sacred fire liberating yourself in this now moment and listen to the song of the ancestors what is the message in the song what are they singing straight to your heart what is it that they want to share with you what is it that they want you to become fully aware of and take a couple more deep inhalations working with the fire opening up releasing making space and one last deep inhalation on the exhale opening up the voice and joining the ancestors in their song imagine stepping out of the fire connecting in with the circle of ancestors feeling that deep connection feeling that unconditional support and loving energy and for now you can say goodbye until we meet again and ask your team of guides and guardians to escort you out of this beautiful shamanic healing space back into the hallway with infinite doors moving up the crystal staircase and using every step on the staircase as a symbol of bringing that new you into the now moment every step you take is anchoring in this new way of being this new version of you that has emerged from the fire using every step to fully embody this new energy and imagine moving up that staircase until you reach the center of the crystal temple and again aligning and attuning with the crystals feeling the energy coming through the soles of the feet coming through the hands feel free to touch the walls to get that full download of energy and just imagine that you are able to pull in more of that high frequency even deeper into your being into the core of who you are and allow it to radiate emanate out into your field imagine this energy bringing health vitality clarity on all levels of your being and once again tuning into the column of light using that column of light as your energetic elevator to move back up through all the layers of the earth and use the imagery of the snake shedding her skin just imagine every layer of the earth is helping you supporting you to let go of old layers revealing a more authentic you in the core of your being and imagine yourself back into that beautiful place in nature where we opened up sacred space and called in all the directions and all the animals and connect once more with the serpent the jaguar the hummingbird and the eagle Thank you.
great serpent. We thank you, great jaguar. We thank you, hummingbird. We thank you, great eagle. Thank you for blessing our circle of healing and transformation, for infusing your unique medicine into our hearts. We thank you for your presence and we release you now. Until next time, aho. to the earth, coming fully back into the body, feeling your feet firmly on the ground and allowing this beautiful space, this beautiful nature spot to morph into your space where you are right now in your house and coming fully back into the room that you are in fully aware of your physical body fully aware of your pelvic area the base of your spine sitting down or laying down bringing all of your awareness into the center that is you you are the center between the earth and the great central sun Becoming aware of the four circles around you. Circle of love, circle of light, circle of protection, circle of reflection. Feeling your connection to the earth. And placing all of your attention on your heart. Placing both of your hands on your heart. Taking in a deep breath. And on the exhale, just relaxing, releasing. Noticing if there's any tension in the body. Set your intention to relax. Every breath is bringing in more relaxation. And start by moving your feet, moving your arms, stretching out, stretching into this new version of yourself, becoming fully aware of your body in the room. And when you are ready, take one last deep breath in. On the exhale, relaxing, releasing, and then just slowly, gently open your eyes.